So underway now, the men's G3000, last of our 3,000 events for the night, and G hasn't this night gone quickly. Oliver Burns, Williamstown from Mornington Peninsula, Richard Doe's, Cooper Proven, St Kevin's, Lachlan Stewart, Old Scotch, backing up off the eights. Magnus Woods from Athletics Chilwell, Keelis and Burners, Luke and Matthews. We also then have Rob Petrie, Jared Lynch, Neil Lynch, Jamie Dimitriou from Melbourne Uni, Felix Esperon from Diamond Valley, Cameron Ellis, Bailey Wilson, Athletics Chilwell from Knox, Charles De Costello, Andrew Turver, Mornington Peninsula, Benjamin Reed from Ringwood, Ranjeev Gerva from Box Hill, Jacob Sprunt from Chilwell, Angus Thomas Chilwell, Tyler Murphy from Diamond Valley, Aidan Musket, also Michael Thomas, Morning Peninsula, and a Peter Russian. And I reckon early on there, I reckon it was Jacob Sprout, Sprunt that's taken the, uh, the early pace setting. He's one of our early seed times there. Of course, one of our Chilwell boys. Yeah, He's so setting a nice tip on yeah, front. Later in the evening and all the way from Geelong still here, and that's really good commitment. So, yeah, Sprunt leading the way. They're starting to spread quite easy, or quite quickly. Probably this is, you know, this is going to happen in these races. No pacemaker this time. So Sprunt doing the work out front. I reckon the pace he's setting, though, Tim, now uh, sub 10 minutes. Look like it might be a goal. It's not unrealistic to run some 20 and 30 second PBs in this, this division. Not at all, especially from the younger brigade, those, you know, 14 through to 16, 17-year-olds. So, well, and count up the, the 12-year-olds. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to pick up a number in here again. I know, I'm not, I know I like highlighting some of the juniors, but it's great to see them racing this late at night. Um, it, is, it is tough to race this time of night when you used to be in bed about two hours earlier. Yeah. But I use but Jacob Sprunt, they're going through first, and then obviously second through is our Ringwood competitor there in Benjamin Reed. Jesus, right. quite a few have got not. So we've missed a few hit numbers here, so we'll try to pick up as many names as we can as they go through. Obviously, the combination of the, uh, the dark conditions and the lack of hip numbers does make it a little bit difficult to race calling. But undoubtedly, out front of the man is, at the moment is the man from Geelong, from Chilwell, in fact, Jacob Sprunt. He's doing a really good job out in front. We'll try to pick up the second pack as they come through next time around. It is the, the Ringwood boy, though, it definitely is amongst them, and that's Benjamin Reed. And there's two with him that we'll try to pick up shortly. Yeah, so Sprunt's still doing nicely out front, isn't he, Nick? And just maintaining really good rhythm, good balance, which is what he needs to do, just sitting out front of this pack. I reckon, it, I reckon it's another Chilwell boy just on him. It might be uh, Angus Thomas. We'll just... Well, no, it's not. We'll, no. no, it's not at all. I apologise for that. We'll try to pick up the colours as they come through. Hip number five... So that's Magnus Woods. It is Chilwell. It is the new Chilwell singlet that ah. threw me there. And uh, fourth through there is Lachlan Stewart of Old Scotch. They're Checking good. his watch there is a local, of course, Ranger Gurja. Yeah. Ran for uh, regularly down at the track here training. So um, a real quality field. They don't strung out, though, by about 120 metres. Yeah, Rob Petrie just coming through now. Then we've got Felix Esperon and Peter Russian. 9073 was the youngster there I picked up on without a hip number. Try to give you a name there. Charles De Castell is in the field here, of course, the Knox Colours. 9073 was Aiden Musket. Oh, the Musket family. We're familiar with them, certainly, our, our Milers meets and also, of course, our AV cross country. But the, right. two chill well, the two chill well have joined each other. Out well, the front this is probably good for Sprunt because he's now got the footsteps, which is going to give him a little bit more purpose. So Sprunt's still leading it. Magnus Woods it is on his shoulder now. So hopefully they can start setting. It's almost perfect conditions now to race 3,000s. It is They're, very, very good. So. The track's dry. Yep. Magnus Woods just moved up beautifully. So, boys, let's try and work together. We're going to have a really quick time here with some teamwork. And it's our Ringwood and Scotch combination next. Yep. Yeah, and that's Stuart, who I'm pretty sure ran an eight earlier, so he's probably still got the lactic streaming through his legs. Gerger in next position. And then Andrew Turver, who I think yeah. we also saw earlier. Well, the Turver's another big, strong, supporting family of Milers Club as well. Richard Doe's also morning potentially going through. And those, those Athletics Chilwell new singlets, uh, they threw me on the call. There's a few of the new singlets going around. Um, there's Young Musket. 
going through. Melbourne University's Jamie Dimitri there. Yeah. And also, sorry, Felix, sorry, Felix yes. Esperin it was, of yeah. course. Sorry. And then our Glenn Huntley nut round, one to round out the field there. Better Russian. It is. So the two Chilwell boys still working well. So Sprunt doing the work. I reckon they're still, they're still thereabouts for this uh, sub 10 minute run we talked about, Tim. I think they are too. Certainly if they keep this tempo and if they get to work with each other at least for the next yeah. six to 800 metres, they're going to be in a really good position. Yeah, Woods no. doesn't want to go past Sprunt at the moment and he's happy to sit behind him, but tempo looks good as they go through 5.52 with three laps to go. Yep, so 1,200 metres out. Stewart's just taken a little bit of a lead there over Reed. Gurge has been in no man's land for quite a long way on this journey. Looks like uh, number eight there, Jared Lynch, starting to make his moves. And then we've got Neil Lynch, not too far behind him. All right. Cameron Ellis, Diamond Valley, doing his bit there as well. And then we've got Tyler Murphy, also Diamond Valley. Coming through now, Luke Matthews. So they're going to go through 2K, Tim, in 6.35. So they're on track for that sub-10 minute run. They are. They've got five seconds in under their sleeve here, Nick, to get that. And I think they might do it. And the next guy, Stuart, too, could just about... I, there if I, he kicks in. I think the top four at the moment are all chasing that 10-minute time. It's going to be hard work for the rest. Yep. But our Chilwell pair, and I reckon the gap's just closing between pack one and pack two, and it's the old Scotch athlete that's doing yeah, the work. Lachlan Stewart. It so. is. So is Sprunt getting a little bit of a gap there too as they come through to get the two laps to go? No, it looks like it's still pretty no, tight. No, Woods looks really good, but I reckon we might need to pick up this tempo for that sub-10 minutes, boys. So we're... We're looking really good here, 7.13, 7.14. Yeah, so Woods might need to take the lead if he wants to keep the momentum, if they want to get that sub 10-minute time. Stewart's eyes on the ball here as well. He really wants to get that time, and Reed is benefiting from that pacing. So Lynch in next position, then Gerger. Turva. Cooper Provens and Kevins, next slot. So down the back. Still the same positions. So look, Lachlan Stewart, as you mentioned earlier, he actually won his heat of the 800, and he's the one now that's going to try to bridge the gap. He, he looks slightly ungainly, as I said, coming down the home straight, and he finished his eight, but he did it in style with a really impressive win as Musket comes through with two laps to go. So 600 out. But now it is, Chil it is the Chilwell pair with okay. Turner, the only one to make any sort of potential inroads on them. Yeah, I think the two Chua boys have got it, and it's just going to be a matter of when Woods thinks he's going to take the opportunity. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't leave it too late. We want to yeah. keep that clock going as well to make sure we get our first three or four under ten minutes. Yeah. So Sprunt and Woods it is. Sprunt has been so brave, hasn't he, Nick? This is oh. so relaxed in the shoulders, just moving nicely. Woods on his heels. But they hit the bell. Come on. 8.37. They should do it. They should be able to do the sub-80. Yep. Turner's the new right on it, mate. Big 77 for Stewart. It's probably not out of Reed's reach as well. So Lynch comes through at 8.50. Needs a 69-second lap. Turver in next position. Then we've got Cooper Proven. The local Gerger in next slot. So down the back straight. No changes yet, Nick. I'm no. I think Woods is leaving it till very late here. Yeah. And there's a bit of move there between Turner and also a young boy there in Benjamin Reed. Yeah. 200 to go, and right now Woods makes the move for the yeah, first time. He sat there for 2,800 metres, and Woods goes to the front at the steeplechase, Tim. I don't think he's going to get headed from there. No, I don't think Sprunt has got it, but gee, it's, uh, Sprunt has not lost any friends tonight, has he, Nick? No, yeah, not at all. It's like been a that. really gutsy run. Yeah. And Turner and Reed is a big race now for the sub-10 minutes. It is on. 15 second last 100 they need. They're going to be bang on it for Reed and Turner. But our winner, though, undoubtedly, is going to be Woods. It was a very good run, very smart run, yeah, 9.52. 
Great running sprint. That was a fantastic effort. And we're going to get the yes. first four home, Tim. First four we, home. Whoa. We'll have to wait for the judges' decision on Lachlan Stewart. Uh, but great running. Lynch will be through next. Then Turva. So some good running, G, for a G grade 3,000 metres. This is good running. So Proven in next. Then Gurja. So Alice, I think Demetrio through next. Two five. Guys, what your numbers there, guys? Just seven. Right. Right. Number thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number, number Show us your hit numbers, guys. We need to see the hit numbers. So good finish there, Esperon. Um, he is twenty-one. Okay, and last few competitors coming through. That was Luke Matthews from KSB. And let's get behind Peter Russian. I think he missed his earlier race and has come into this one. So Peter Russian will be number 23 and through to complete our men's G and all of the 3,000 metres. So thanks everyone who's participated in these 3,000s during the course of the evening. A big night of racing as we now move our start line to the 1,500.